Every day working in the special collections is a day where you're going to discover something new that you didn't know existed just the day before. I'm Joanne Fitton and I am Head of Special Collections and Galleries here at the University of Leeds and I have the pleasure of running a dedicated team of staff looking after the rare books, manuscripts, artworks and any other objects with historical significance held by the university. I think I could work here for the next 50 years and still be discovering what's been put into the collections. We have artworks from 17th century right through to modern day. The rare book collections are outstanding in their breadth and one of our founding collections was that of Lord Brotherton of Wakefield. He collected very widely and gave his rare book and manuscript collection to the university in 1936. Bronte manuscripts included Shakespeare's folios and English literature has been one of the founding collections for us, which has become designated internationally significant for its research potential. It wasn't just the collection that he gave though, he gave the university the funds to build a library. Lord Brotherton wanted his collections to be enjoyed by everybody. He wanted there to be a legacy as well. He gave an endowment to the university to continue building the collection. And so since the 1936, when the university took that collection in, we've been able to acquire more and more manuscripts and rare books to make the collection what it is today. Many people who've been associated with the university over the years have wanted to gift their own personal libraries and manuscript collections to join Brotherton's collection. And so Special Collections has over 15 kilometres of shelving today and hundreds of thousands of rare books and manuscripts that people can access. The art collection has got its foundations in Michael Sadler who was the first Vice-Chancellor of the University and Michael Sadler was a passionate collector of art. He was interested in collecting modern material and supporting artists of the day and when he left in 1923 he gifted his collection to the university. What he wanted was for the art to be in the spaces that the students used and to be everywhere over the university campus. And his interests were, again, in drawing the city and the university together and helping Leeds and the people of Leeds to experience art and to appreciate art. So we have two galleries on campus. We've got the Stanley and Audrey Burton Art Gallery and we've got the Treasures of the Brotherton Gallery, which is our gallery for manuscripts and archive exhibitions and in both galleries we showcase the collection. Well the art gallery that we're in today was refurbished in 2008 down to the generosity of the Stanley and Audrey Burton Trust and that enabled the collections that had amassed so much more since the 1920s to be brought together in this one space. A really unique feature of what we've got at Leeds as well as our public art. We have a trail that anybody can walk around, intermingle between our buildings of really outstanding works of art, sculptural works of art. We're commissioning new pieces of sculpture as the campus develops, our alumni and our other domes. They're really generous supporters of the collections that we have here. They are passionate about ensuring that we can make those collections discoverable and make them enjoyed and appreciated by as wide a public as possible. So if we think right back to Brotherton and Sadler and the gifts that they gave to the university, it's inspired more people to give to the university and to these collections ever since. And there's a real legacy that continues right through to this day. Everything around us, the artwork, the books, the manuscripts, all of the work that we're able to do to make them discoverable and enjoyed by the public, None of that would be possible without the support of our alumni and our other donors.